Earth-based weather this week is definitely keeping us on our toes. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, we've had a lot of active regions in Earth view, including some big flare players. In fact, over this past week, we've had more than 20 radio blackouts being fired from several different regions. The first, the, one of the biggest uh, offenders was region 3156, but it is now rotated to the sun's far side. We're now looking at region 3163, and it's beginning to rotate to the sun's far side. So luckily, all of the activity that we've seen basically around the 14th, 15th, and 16th, uh, all those big radio blackouts are finally beginning to calm down. It definitely affected radio propagation on Earth's day side over those few days. So if we had, uh, if you were an HF radio operator, you definitely were noticing it. Things have definitely calmed, de calmed down since then. But region 3169 is still firing big flares, so we're not out of the woods yet. This region has not launched any Earth-directed solar storms, but we have seen a few things go off to the east of Earth. But meanwhile, as far as uh, solar storms are concerned, we do have a couple coronal holes. We have one that is entering the Earth strike zone now and is going to be sending us some fast solar wind over the next day or two. But we also have smaller pockets that are kind of extended, and this means we're not going to have really strong fast solar wind, but we are going to have an extended period of it. So aurora photographers, if you're at high latitudes, you definitely could get a bit of a show. Might even dip into mid latitudes for a short bit, but things are going to be much more sporadic. So you're going to have to deal with that and kind of catch it as you can. But that after that, things will calm down in through uh, as we get to the last uh, week in December. Things will definitely settle down, but we do still have the potential for solar storm players because we see some activity that's just beginning to rotate into view. Now, as we switch to our stereo image, this is stereo, uh, which is our far-sighted monitor. It's looking at the sun just a tiny bit from the side. You can see those coronal holes that are going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here, but you can also see on the sun's east limb, you definitely see there's one active region in the north. This region has yet to rotate fully into Earth view, but man, it's gurgling and burgling. Looks like it could be yet another big flare player and looks like it could be a solar storm producer. So we are keeping our eyes on that because it looks like radio blackouts may not yet be uh, quieting down and we might actually get a chance for some solar storming. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these radio blackouts could affect radio comms for space traffic, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.